What's going on, beautiful people? Welcome back to another episode of the MSBA with your boy Rizo Achia. We are now into week four. We have to take a little bit of a hiatus last week just because the homie Zay finally bought a house. So big congrats to him. He's all moved in now and uh, we're getting back into Pokemon. This week with the team, it's a little bit similar to what we brought against Adam, but we got Amoongus, Drifblim, Lucario. And the thing that's different with Lucario instead of Expert Belt I brought safety goggles. This is because I'm expecting Zave to bring in T-Tar and for it to be a Terra flying type. So not only do I have Ice Punch on the Lucario, but I also have safety goggles to mitigate damage and keep me from taking unwanted damage from Sandstream. We got Guard Chop, this time with the Yachi Berry, just so if he tries to hit me with an ice punch once again from that t-tar or whoever it sort of dulls down the damage i'm trying to keep garchomp in as long as possible because he's one of my aces we got the tank azumarill of course honestly probably gonna be in the in the lineup every week so last but not least our boy toxicroak with the bright powder that's just my little sauce now toxicroak is slowly becoming one of my favorites especially with the fake out poison touch if it works it just feels really good and at least especially if i have something in the back like a moongus or something like a zoomero that can just tank hits and sort of wait out that poison while still getting off damage it's a good strat without further ado you guys do me a big favor sit back relax and grab your snacks and let's bring in a dub this week all right let's get it Mm-hmm. Good move. <laughs> Double protect up front. Okay. What I'm gonna do, who did I bring? Mmm. No, we're gonna stay in it. How about this? Because Titar is rock dark type, right? So this brick break would be times four plus stab. That can do good damage. If I get the spar off on the Lycan Rock, avoid. Thank you. Love that. Good damage. Can I get a poison? No poison. Didn't need it. Whatever. Weakness policy. Okay. Saw that one coming. What we're going to do next turn is switch out of Moongus so Regenerator can bring back some health. <clears throat> I think if we bring in... Boom. So the beauty with Driftblim, depending on his next Pokemon that he brings in, I can do use Will-O-Wisp and Inoki. What is, what is this going to be? I'm pretty sure this is another physical Mon too. Mm-hmm. Boom, 
So really what I'm trying to use more of is status effects. I've been realizing a lot of what I've been doing in my past battles is not getting enough status effects up and it's not giving me chip damage. Move. So we're really trying to prioritize that chip damage. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to bring Amoongus back in, but we're going to switch him out again into Azumaru just so we can get <clears throat> more health back. Honestly, what we might do. Might just do that instead. This might be better for us. That's beautiful. Just drop that speed down. I know everybody was like, why do you have Icy Wind on it? I want to be faster. Ooh, that was good damage. This is good. And no more sandstorm. This is great. One more Giga Drain. Knock down that speed just a little bit more. Because it's very possible that this thing wakes up. Perfect. That thing might be specced into that. Okay, this is a good game one so far. This is last mon, Orthoworm, okay. If I can put this thing to sleep, it's like damn near guaranteed to win. Yeah, that thing's specced. Bring Azu in. Ooh. No, the Phantom Force should kill it. Because I was just thinking, if I bring Azu in, what he was waiting for is me to bring Azu in. Damn. <laughs> Good prep. Okay. Okay, he got me. That's good prep. He knew I was going to put him to sleep. I like that. All right, dope, dope, dope. Let's do this. If we go... Hmm. Let's do this. Bring back in Azumarill.
One more icy one for the road. Because that ortho worm is pretty fast too. I don't like that. So he specked into that sludge bomb. He specked into the sludge bomb, but against a Moongus, it's not really doing anything. If I keep a Moongus in, he can body press to do whatever. But at the end of the day, ooh, let's see. Perfect. Now what I can do is Will-O-Wisp. Because now we know that he's a physical type. Drop that attack in half and keep it moving. It's just that defense being high that's gonna kill me. But we should be able to get around it. Yes, sir, that chip damage. All right, let's see, let's see, let's see. Another Giga. Honestly, no, let's do this. We're gonna prep. We're gonna fill Drift Bloom back up. I might have just wasted a turn, honestly. No, it missed because he's vanished. Oopsies. That was stupid on my part, for sure. Yeah, it's not gonna do anything. We gotta stick with the special attacks. That's the only thing that's gonna get us. <laughs> we are playing the long game here, okay? It's working. Beautiful. All right. Good game one. Good game one. That's what we needed. This time I think we're gonna leave with Driplim. We'll go Driplim Toxicroak. Um, we'll bring Garchomp because Azumarill didn't really have much to do to offer us and then definitely gotta bring Amoongus. Because he was our saving grace in the back end. And I noticed he has a lot of um, rock types. So we got to be able to face off against those. Let's get it. So what he's going to be going for is Trick Room. What we can't let him do, Trick Room. Can I get a poison? Yes, sir. Okay. Good shit. Hang in there. Good. All right. All we need is a parting gunk shot. He's going to take me out.
But I don't have any safe switches. I don't want Garchomp to take any unnecessary damage. Driftblim is already out in the field. That's the only thing that would have been... No. Oh, boy. Okay. All right. Love that for me. All right, phase two. Okay. One thing we're looking for. I'm scared of that trick room. But I need Amoongus to be a little bit faster. We're gonna spore. Put that thing to sleep. Oh yeah, that thing is specced. I forgot about that. Mmm, he's a grass type. I'm an idiot. Amoongus, don't worry. I'm getting you out of there. Throat spray. Completely forgot about that. That speed. Now this hyper voice might hurt a little bit. Ooh, Weasling, you bitch. Mm-mm. I can do two things here. This, I feel like this is my smartest choice. Because at least with either... If I take out Garchomp now, I'll still have him on the back end. We gotta think about this. <clears throat> I'd rather have... Garchomp in on the back. Able to take out whatever else he brings in. Because Garchomp comes out... Amoongus is already out. Boom. Cool. Amoongus, we eat that. Love that. Use a Giga Drain to get just a little bit of that health back. Just a smidget. It's okay. Hang in there. Nothing too crazy. Guess what? We just got faster. I'm burdened, baby. Get that thing out of here. Now we know what he's going to bring in next is probably going to be a physical attacker. So the first thing we got to do is pop off that Will-O-Wisp. 
Either Will-O-Wisp or put it to sleep. Yep. Fuck. Let's do this. Like I said, Will O Wisp is our priority. I'm scared of an ice punch. Cause that's gonna ruin my day. Good move. He saw through it. Mmm. Amoongus, you know the sandstorm. Damn it. All right. Well. We gotta bring in Garchomp and just start swinging. Let's protect. Just to get a feel. So I want to see what he's going to do. Exactly. What I tell you? I knew it. I knew it was going to be a flying type. And what is he going to put on it? He's going to put Ice Punch on it. Watch it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, your boy's been playing. All right, Jeff Ice type? Oh wait, steel, I'm an idiot. Let's go. Could've sworn I made a nice type. Oopsies. I'm expecting a sucker punch on that lichen rock. Bro, I don't want this to go to game three. Like I so badly do not want this to go <laughs> want this to go to game three. Hang in there.
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Damn. The only way. Uh. The only way that this doesn't go to three is if. Is if whatever move he's going to use next doesn't hit that is my only hope okay all right these are close ass matches y'all So close. That would have been a crazy ass comeback. Okay. So we'll switch it up this time. Let's see. We put the Ferrigoraf to sleep. That thing might have uh, what you call it too. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Zave, you're a crafty mother. Mm-hmm. Okay, what do I got? What do I got? What do I got? Lovely damage. Smooth on him. Good move. We're going to switch you out. Mm. Munga switch out into Azu. Wait, wait, wait. I don't have that much time, but I need to do this. Because he has earth power on there. I I almost forgot about the earth power and he specced into that. The last thing I want is for Lucario to take a full power earth power. That would get me out of there early. I don't want that. Yes, sir. Okay. We got motion, baby. <laughs> Let's go. Ooh, Lucario, what the fuck is going on? This is why we brought the goggles. This is okay. weather no it only stops terrain all right well
Because an earthquake is very possible here. Good move. That one hurts a little bit. It hurts just a little bit. I'm not going to hold you. Alright, what I have to do in this next turn, like I have to, seriously, is Pollen Puff. And I pray that it works. Like, do I go for? I should be faster, so we're just gonna go for a liquidation. I should have went for an ice spinner. Now that I'm thinking about it, the liquidation should still do some good damage. He's going for an earthquake. Yes, sir. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, that was excellent. <laughs> Honest God, what we're going to do is another pollen puff. Guess what? Spin it up, baby. Please live. He's gonna go for another earthquake. Oh my god. Yeah, sure, whatever. This is very unfortunate, but... Hang in there. Dog. How many Pokemon does he have left? And can I survive the Sandstorm? These are, these are the questions. Is the Sandstorm done? Y'all, my heart right now. There's like no way that I can win this. But the fact, oh my God. Y'all.